I had the opportunity to do a Zoom call uh, to meet Derek and they shared the story of how they met. Their apartments were in the same complex and as Savannah would be heading to class or work or to the store, it seemed that Derek would always just happen to be walking his new dog Ruger around. Savannah, of course, could not help but ask to pet the pup and over time it was indeed the pup that made the love connection. Long live Ruger. If the world was a painting, could we step inside? Sink into the colors and come alive. Dear Sav, this is the day, the day that we have waited for, thought about and even dreamed of. It makes my heart, mind, body, soul happy to know that this day is the start to the rest of our lives together. I cannot wait to see you walk down the aisle. I cannot wait to take your hands and look into your eyes. I cannot wait to read our vows and to commit my life to you completely. This is the first day of the rest of our lives. On this day, we are no longer individuals. We come together as one with God as the glue in our relationship. I love you with all my heart. Derek. Dear Derek, today is the day we have been planning and waiting on for so long. I am so giddy to become your wife today. There is no nervousness for me in this commitment we are making to one another. My heart could not be more sure of you being my person. Ever since the very beginning, you have brought out the very best in me. I am the person that I am today because of you and your love. It is such a sweet, enriching love that I feel so thankful for. I wouldn't change a thing about you or our relationship. On this day forward, we get to build a home, a family together. I know you will be an amazing father to our future little sweet peas. <laughs> you are my biggest blessing. Thank you for loving me wholeheartedly. Let's change my last name, baby. See you soon. Love your bride, Savannah. <laughs> hey! <laughs> you look awesome. Thank you. Away we go. Into the stars, into forever, into the deepest blue we go. Away we go. So Savannah, um, you know, I think about, you know, I think about you, I still see that little girl with that little sweet smile and really eyes just really full of life. And, you know, I was telling somebody earlier, you, you know, you kind of gave us a run for our money uh, <clears throat> during your adolescent years, right, teenage years. But, you know, I think all of that, just all those learnings, uh, the things really made us closer as a family. And I think it just made you blossom into the beautiful girl that you are today. And your mom and I love you very, very much. Derek, really appreciative of the last couple of years I got to spend with you in Florida, right, during the summers. And the one thing that I learned being around you is how much you adored my daughter. And that's so important to me as a father, to know that I'm placing her in your hands and you love her the way that you do. So thank you. And I guess if there's any words of wisdom, right, from a, a guy who probably let a few things sneak in as priorities in my life, but I think the first thing is make sure you keep centered on God is number one, and number two is each other. And I think if you do those things and keep that in mind, no matter what happens in life, you'll be just fine. Away we go. I'm probably gonna get choked up at some point in this, so just bear with me. Um, so, Savannah Mikhail Smith, words cannot describe the way I feel standing here next to you, in front of God, in front of family, and in front of friends. 
People often say life is filled with uncertainty and the only guarantee is that we will not live forever. I have to disagree with that statement and here's why. I certainly know that God has placed me here to be your husband. I certainly know that God has placed you here to be my wife. I certainly know that we will have our fair share of disagreements and misunderstandings. I certainly know that we have transformed each other into the people that are standing here today. With that being said, we also have our flaws. So I've prayed to God and asked to help me with a few things. I've asked God to help me chase you and make you my priority each and every day. I've asked God to help me have patience, compassion, and understanding. I've asked God to help me be the best husband and father I can be. I've never been so certain or confident in any other decision in my life. We don't have life figured out by any means, but it's a long road with ups and downs, and it just makes my heart happy to know that you're meant to walk that road with me. Derek, I am thankful for the gift that God has blessed me with in you as my lifelong partner. Since the beginning of our relationship, you have been and continue to be a mirror of God in the love and grace that you extend to me and others. You selflessly lead me with discern from the Lord and remind me of what truly matters, always pointing me back to God. You are my comfort, you are my safe haven, and you bring me pure joy. I vow to give you my 100% every single day, making up for the unforeseen hard times and making sure our cup is always overflowing. I promise to selflessly support you as your wife and friend. I promise to love you unconditionally through silly and big mistakes. I promise to share my heart with you and the intimate parts of myself that make me who I am. I promise to grow with you and to continually and intentionally fall in love with you on that journey of growth. I vow to give you the best of me every day and I promise to give you always more of myself and each of these promises I have vowed to you on this special day. My heart is completely overjoyed to become one with you today as Miss Collier. <laughs> On the basis of the covenant of love and by the authority given to me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and in accordance with the laws of the great state of Tennessee, it is my privilege to announce you husband and wife. What God has therefore joined together, let no man put asunder. Derek, you may kiss your bride. I know I'm, I'm Derek's little brother. Uh, my name's Darren, or actually I'm his little big brother. Boom, roasted. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Savannah, I see how you treat him. I see how you take care of him. And whew, I said I wasn't gonna cry, but I know y'all are gonna do great things. I know the Lord's gonna bless both of you guys. Y'all are two great people. Y'all deserve each other. Y'all deserve the world. Savannah, you have stuck by my side for so long through the places that we've lived that are different from all the miles and hours and distance. I feel like your friendship has remained so constant in my life, and the, that's the best thing about you. You make people feel safe and known, and it's been such a fun time being your friend. And Derek, you are exactly the kind of guy that I pray for for Savannah up here when you guys were praying together and just taking communion and holding hands it just made me feel so thankful to the lord for how you've loved her and how you've given her the gift to see herself the way that you see her and i'm just so thankful for that so before i shed some tears guys <laughs> i'm just gonna say thank you and i can't wait to be a part of this stage of life together so i love both of you so much Is a painting and all the hues.